What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, maybe you like making novelty food for your girlfriend, your wife, or maybe you're a girl that should be making it for your man. But uh, hey, I picked this up. It's a flower-shaped frying pan, non-stick, and I uh, got it on Amazon. This is how it comes. It actually comes in a plastic bag above and beyond this. So you just kind of push it out here. Um, this is, says for eggs and mini pancakes. So uh, I'm gonna do some eggs here, but if you make some pancake batter or something like that, I think you could just uh, pour it in there. You get them in this little heart shape, so that's pretty cute. So you get your eggs or your pancakes in a nice little shape here. Uh, I have some fun fresh eggs here. We'll scramble that up and throw one in there. And actually it looks like maybe it's just gonna be one egg. So I will only cook up one egg, but uh, it'd be pretty cool to try pancakes or something like that. Now, one thing I will mention is that it does have to be pretty um, kind of kind of delicately balanced because the handle here, while it's not super heavy, it's just a plastic like polyester type handle. This is really just like sheet metal. It's kind of pressed, just like you'd expect. And so it doesn't have a lot of weight, but it does does balance there pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this off, scramble up an egg, and let's cook it up. Now I've gone ahead and turned on my heat here. Uh, you can probably lubricate this any way you want, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of spray olive oil just to make sure. I've got one grade A sized egg here scrambled up. Let's go ahead and pour it in. It's sizzling there. Yeah, I'll turn off the heat there. Um, it takes a little while for the, uh, looks like the egg to kind of cook. You can't really stir it while it's doing that, but you can kind of shake the rest of the, the egg. The fact that I've used the biggest egg that I had is maybe not the right, uh, the right strategy. I've kind of spread the egg around here, but let's see. Let's see go so ahead. I got the egg out. Uh, kind of needed to use a fork to kind of um, massage it out a little bit, but we do have a little heart-shaped egg dish. Now, one of the things that I would say is that if you're using it, I would use a very small egg, maybe even half of a one grade A egg, because what I had here is a little bit of run over, and because it's pretty thick, then it cooks really well on the the, the side of, adjacent to the heat, but the back side kind of slowly cooks. So uh, just kind of remember you want to use a really thin or small amount of egg. Secondly, you're probably going to want to use a fairly liberal dose of something like olive oil or Pam or something like that, but it does work. It's not super fast or super efficient. It's certainly for kind of small batches, but pretty cool. And again, pancakes too. Peter Von Panda, out.